Hola, my soccer universe, and welcome to part three of the La Liga jersey review. Uh, since we're now entering the videos where I don't have many jerseys of many teams, so about only one, I had to take the Atletico jersey down and had to do a whole lot of reshuffling here uh, as compared to previous videos, but I think I overall like it uh, quite some. Maybe I don't like how this Sevilla jersey suddenly looks like, but you know, uh, small potatoes uh, right there. Uh, also, if you hear a little bit background noise, my girls came just in from playing outside and now they need to get all the energies out and they're in the neighboring room causing all kinds of mayhem. As you see, I'm wearing Atleti, the 1617, the last one, I think, with this crest. Maybe the last, last maybe, but the last one that they wore in the old with Vicente Calderon, uh, which is on the inside label here. So yeah, uh, Atletico is easy in this video as are uh, quite a few other teams. So how did I choose uh, the teams in this video? Um, yeah, I did it as with all my other jersey review videos, but if you're new here, actually, let me explain to you one more. I took last season standings, um, wrote them down and then I went one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one to kind of have the big teams a little bit spread out over the, vi the videos to have kind of not a video where we have all the big teams and then many where we have smaller teams in there to kind of a little bit keep the interest. Uh, so I took every team that has a number three next to it and then I ordered them alphabetically and here I have to say alphabetically the way I would call them quickly. Which means I know that Athletic Club is the way it's called in Spain. I call it Bilbao for some weird reason. And Bilbao is after Atletico. Atletico Club otherwise would be first. No, my bad, but I just wanted to say this ahead. So we'll start actually, like in the previous video, we start with the top team, Atletico Madrid, who have a rather interesting new home jersey. First of all, I'm very happy it's just the red and white stripes. Uh, what I'm not so happy is that the white stripes are a little bit thinner. I'm very happy though about the color, although I wish it a little bit wider. But that looks all quite, quite nice. Um, I would even advocate a little bit discoloring the crest where it should have chosen the darker blue tone that we have on the rest of the jersey because uh, that, that, that way there's a little mismatch between the crest and the jersey. And yes, I always say that jersey should fit with the crest and not the other way around. And yes, I probably would like a li slightly brighter blue, the one from, from the crest. But if you go with the navy, it also doesn't look bad but then uh, adjust it on, on, on the crest. I think this would be a change to the crest that I could actually uh, go with. Uh, and also, you know, the sponsor here, it is in the lighter blue. Here it's with the dark blue. It looks all right. I know it's in the box, which I don't necessarily like that, that much, but it looks, it goes better with, with, with the jersey than the crest does. So here, slight discoloring just for one season. You can keep the red and white stripes would have done uh, a whole lot, a lot of good. I actually would like to see a uh, one point Atletico jersey that kind of mimics the crest a little bit, you know, have this strike out uh, in blue and maybe have then the bear eating from the strawberry tree uh, in there as well. That's a whole other issue. Uh, then there's also an interesting uh, brush stroke effect on this. So those are not straight stripes. It is very hard to see. If you see it sitting closer, it's kind of, you see it. Yes, this is, it's not straight lines. There's a little, uh, an effect on there, which is kind of the latest trend. I mean, all the Adidas uh, jerseys, especially for, for the Euros, have all kind of this brush stroke in there. On the other side, it's nothing new. We had this, this was the 2010 Africa range, the uh, all alternates were all with brush strokes. So it's not a new thing per se. I think it's a decent jersey, small things, but I have to say it looks atleti. And for that reason, I actually like it. I give this uh, seven stars. Yes, it has a blackout red back, which I don't necessarily like. I'm very much liking this away jersey though. In the dark blue we, we with the red and interestingly enough in the league they use it with red numbers in the Champions League they had to use white white numbers which makes so much more sense because they're so much better to read. Um, but I also understand it doesn't then you know the front and the back look a little bit different but this is a really nice looking jersey. Yes the discolored crest I actually would say if you would have kept the red and white stripes it would not look out of place here. You could have you gone with an almost full color crest here. I think it would have looked fine. 
honestly. Uh, it was not ne necessary to do it, so that is a little bit off. But other than that, as an away jersey, it uses the color that Letty has with the red. Yes, the white is maybe missing. This would be, I, I would actually like to have an Atleti away jer jersey just to, you know, I want to have now of all the big teams, I would like to have two jerseys and uh, home and away, I, I, I ideally, this one would be kind of in the realm of jerseys that I would consider. Um, I'm going to give this nine stars, despite my... Uh, misgivings about the crest. Uh, however, what they were thinking with this third shirt jersey, I saw this the first time when they played at Bayern. Uh, it hurts my eyes. And I don't even understand why you have this neony and then a little white in there. And what has this to do with Atleti? This is completely out of nowhere. Uh, probably this has to do again with all one of those Nike sneakers. Uh, potentially. It doesn't look good. I uh, that I think the most in interesting may maybe the color, which is kind of Korean, but then over oh, it's it's also a little bit much. This is a jersey I do not like. Actually, I have to look away from from it. It really hurts my eyes to look at this jersey. Two stars for that one. And then same design, different uh, supplier and slightly different logo. I mean, uh, we know Atletico and Athletic Club Bilbao. Athletic Club Bilbao was the all, 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 all the one students from Bilbao went, went to Madrid and founded Atletico Madrid and that's why they they look so similar, I think. And then there was only a shipment of blue pants because they also were playing initially with black socks that kind of differentiated the look. So those, those, those two are kind of twinned. New Balance, we have not seen New Balance a lot um, in these this videos. Um, at first, I have the uh, first impression is I am very happy that Bilbao is back in slightly thinner stripes. They had kind of the last two seasons thick, thicker stripes, which doesn't look bad, but I prefer Bilbao with thinner stripes. Uh, that's for sure. But on a second look, there are a whole lot of things that are slightly off. First of all, there's a little pattern in the um, uh, stripes, which doesn't uh, I don't dislike. Also like the way the sponsor is put there. That looks all right. But look at the stripes. First the shoulder has kind of this red and then the jumps and uh, it doesn't match up the color. There is also some red in there that kind of, you know, there is a lot of jaggedness in there on the sides also. You have the big side panel then it gets thinner. There is a whole lot of jaggedness in there that actually looks weird and I mean that the color go dips down on the back is also kind of, kind of kind of weird and also it's not very delineated here so the, the, this one isn't either it also goes the strap all the way up probably fine but um, I would probably prefer you know have a red uh, a full red one here so yeah uh, the first look is good the second one kind of uh, grades it down and for that reason I'm gonna go six stars here although I'm happy about the slightly more traditional look the away jersey, I am sorry, Bilbao, a new New Balance. Uh, great jersey, yes, the Betis one, I like this one. I'm not so sure. This is too gray and then all this striping in there in red and blue with no rhyme or reason whatsoever. Maybe there's some cultural theme in there. I honestly don't see it. This is a jersey that leaves me a little bit wanting, uh, not exciting to me. Four stars for that one. Um, Kadith. The newly promoted team goes also with Adidas, and I'm glad they used this template. These are some of the more interesting and nicest jerseys out there. I mean, this is classic Ad Adidas. It's a Sweden jersey. This is a Sweden look, and I wish that Sweden would have that, that look to, to, to be honest. And if you look at the model here with the reddish hair, I mean, this could be a sweet perfectly. Uh, I, I like it. I mean, even the duffer, but even it should be blue. It's black. Uh, yes, it's a textbook Adidas jersey jersey but uh, if Adidas is done well that's the classic soccer jersey in many many ways and for that reason I actually really like this one I'm gonna give this eight stars and the away jersey uses one of Adidas most interesting templates for this season a stripe temp template where the um, it has stripes of differing width but then uh, there's a gradient and the thinner stripes get a little bit thicker up there I have to say this is a template that unless you are really a striped uh, jersey, I think um, uh, Olympiakos is using that and there I don't like, but in this case I really think this is very well done. Uh, I really like this great gradient look in there. Um, also with, with, with the yellow, is it a little bit much maybe, but I have to say 
This is one a really in, in interesting temple. I give this also seven stars. Kadith, glad you're up there because you're looking good as well. Where's gonna look look good? I mean, the promoted team so so far have not been disappointing. Has to be said. Aber is always a team that I find is bordering the you know it's kind of this never have a really exciting jersey, but also not really. Bad. I mean, it's one of those teams that are influenced by Barcelona. The one thing that really drags this jersey down is this huge boxed sponsor. That really drags this jersey down. Otherwise, I think it, it, this would be a really good jer jersey. Um, I like the blue, blue sleeves, then you have the stripes. And then uh, to make up for all the blue here, you have a lot more red um, on the rest of the jersey. So that is actually a quite a good look. Um, I don't like the box. On there, um, but you know, I think as far as Aber jerseys might be one of the best Aber jerseys that I've seen recently, and I'm gonna give this seven stars. Uh, I actually really like the uh, idea of the away jersey. Um, maybe a few too many slivers around the collar, but I actually like the collar with the inset. Just this here, I, don't, I, I like, and then you have this flash going. Not like the Roma jersey, the away jersey last season. But also, gradient from blue to red, again, sponsor is ruining it. It's ruining it. Here you could have just used, you don't need the white, you just use the red on, on there, maybe with a little out, outline and you're totally fine. But this is a very interesting strong jersey, maybe the most exciting thing I've seen from Abar in a long, long time. Not that I have the Abar jerseys all stored in the back of my head, but um, you know, I would give this 9 to 10 pro, uh, probably, there are a few things that are downgrade, but uh, it's a very strong 8 star jersey look, I have to say. I really, really like this one. Uh, the third jersey, blah, yeah, black, black and gray hoops uh, with red. Again, the question is how much contrast does it make to the home jersey on the other side? Uh, the home jersey is very red uh, heavy, so you go here for the darker, so it makes some sense and have a little bit red in there. Look how the sponsor can go without a um, box. That actually is fine. I'm not, I make sense within with the count color, but I'm not so happy about the crest either because I think a full color crest would have done just fine here too. So that one goes a little bit in all, also weird color with the boxed offness here. And so we are, I'm thinking here six stars. It's not super exciting, but it's also not a bad look. Again, we are at Las La Real. Sociedad San Sebastian. Macron, uh, I have to say, uh, among all the Spanish teams that I'm currently looking at, Real Sociedad is probably very near to the top that I would like to add to my collection. Uh, and I have, have to say, this church is a really nice one. Um, it reminds me a little bit of the um, Hertha church, uh, because the stripes are outlined, but here it goes on both sides. So you have the classic uh, white and blue look, but then the blue straps uh, have a, a slightly brighter blue on the edges, uh, which give an interesting effect, although I probably could do without them. I think would look better. I do like actually the collar that also has the, the, the blue strap in the white, and the same thing is kind of... Um, on the sleeve cuffs and that the tail is also in blue. I think uh, frames it nicely. Maybe it would frame it even better if the color was all blue, but I think it's overall a really strong look. Something interesting, something slightly different. Um, eight stars? I think eight stars. Yes, it has a, uh, the blue back, but I think it works quite well. Uh, the away jersey though, Macron, I have to say the away jersey of Real Sociedad has not been all that great as of late. They have had some very interesting third and specialty jerseys, but this one, first of all, where's the red coming from? Honestly, then monochromatic crest, and then what is this with the color? I mean, black, all right, yeah, provides contrast, but why red? And then uh, like this orangey, pinky red almost, and then the slivers. That goes on the other, middle of the park, but it goes on the other side five stars and that concludes the video for today let me know what you thought about the jerseys in this video which ones you like and dislike where you agree with me that would be interesting too give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and i'll see you with part four very 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 soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I will wish you a wonderful day. Bye.